Hi, John McCallumont here on the Skeeter Bass Champs television show. We are actually not at one of our favorite lakes today. We're in the Bass Champs editorial suite, and we're putting together tons of footage, over 80 tapes we shot this year, and we're cutting it down to the best of 2004. We've got the craziest fish caught, we've got the best moment ever, we've got Brad Ballin catching a ton of fish in only 30 minutes, all of that and a lot more on this episode of the Skeeter Bass Champs television show. Don't go anywhere. The Skeeter Bass Champs Television Show is brought to you by Skeeter Performance Fishing Boats, engineered like no other. Eat, sleep, fish, Skeeter. And Yamaha Outboards, legendary dependability, award-winning technology. You know, on any given day when we shoot the Bass Champs television show, we average 10 to 15 tapes per shooting day. We have 15 to 20 shooting days to make up our entire season of shows. And on the championship this year, we shot over 70 tapes in just three days. Each tape holds 40 minutes of footage. And this year alone, we shot over 200 tapes. So that's a lot of footage to go through. Just a little Bass Champs trivia for you there to let you know exactly how much work it goes into making just one episode of the Bass Champs television show. But right now, what we're gonna do is we've got an award for the most missed fish. John Gunnels and Dickie Newberry fished a tournament on Toledo Bend this year. Now, you all know Dickie Newberry. He is a stick on that lake, and so is John Gunnels. But John, unfortunately, he wasn't having the greatest day. Let's look and see how many fish he actually lost in one episode of the Bass Champs Tournament Trail. Did you get it? That's crazy. Cool, he had him. Well, he, I see him before he bowl. Damn. Next time you're swimming towards you. Let him come. No, tell me and I'll scare him back the other way. Three or four pounds? Well, John, I hated to do that to you, but you know what? That's why they call it fishing and not catching. And if you've ever fished in a tournament before, you know some days it just doesn't go in your favor. I think you missed seven fish on that one. Ah, incredible. Anyway, we've got a lot more fun coming up for you. We've got Jeff Welch, who won this year's President's Fish Off. We're going to let him do a little bit more bragging. Plus, we've got the worst conditions that the Skeeter Bass Champs television crew have ever faced. All that and more right here on the Bass Champs television show coming up next. Welcome back to the Skeeter Bass Champs Tournament Trail. John McCallum here recapping with you the best moments of 2004. Jimmy Steed and Charlie Harrelson won our first Southern Region event at Lake Falcon this year. Well, Charlie's family actually won over $78,000 in 2004 in the Bass Champs Tournament Trail. How did they do that? Well, Charlie won in February on Falcon, won again at Choke Canyon. His father and his brother, Bubba and Tom, placed fifth at Coletto Creek and also won the Amstead event. So that's one family dominating the southern region of the Bass Champs Tournament Trail. Right now what we're going to do is catch up with Jimmy and Charlie. We actually got to go fishing with them on Lake Falcon right after they won that event. Caught a really nice fish. Black strap on the tables. Well that is a dead giveaway. Oh, look at that. Big fish. Big fish. Good one. That's a good one. Oh, wow. Golly! That's the one I lost in there earlier. <laughs> see if we can get that sucker in there. You should have showed him the 
Oh, <laughs> look at that. That is a chunk. It's a nice so one. Belly full of, she ate something. Belly she full of eggs. eggs and it's got a little something in there. I had lost a fish in there earlier today. And now, you imagine. think that's the male or the female? That's got to be the female. That's got to be the female. That's a nice, that's, that's probably right. three and a half, four pound fish right there. Jimmy Steed and Charlie Harrison catching a big fish. Tough to do after you really fished an area throughout an entire tournament. Plus their family winning over $78,000. You know Bubba, Charlie's father, a real proud man this year. Congratulations, guys. Next up, the craziest fish ever caught. We've got a grinnel, two frogs, and a drum. Let's check them out. Yeah, yeah net. net. Keep him down. Stay down, baby. Stay down, but oh my god. Oh. Look at that. It's four pounds something. <laughs> oh man. If that don't get your heart racing on tournament day, sports fans, I don't know what will. Get the end there, you ain't happy. Oh, hell. Hey, oh. <laughs> That's the grandma. That fish has got teeth. And there, got a bad attitude. He just took all my skirt off. A frog, a frog on a frog. Nice, not a keeper. Well, I think if I'd have been Stan Lawling there, I might have thrown that in the live well, had some frog legs for dinner. <laughs> Next up, the worst conditions that the Skeeter Bass Champs television crew ever faced. We followed Steve Kroll and Mike Taylor on Sam Rayburn Reservoir on Valentine's of this year. That tournament was just grueling. It was 33 degrees, pouring down rain. You couldn't see your hand in front of your face. And of course, me, being the producer of the show, decided, hey, we're gonna take those cameras out, follow them anyway. Watch, see the fish that they caught, the only one that we were able to catch on film all day long. Then I'll tell you what happened to all of our equipment. Oh. Granny, go. Golly, look at that. I'm going to open that net up for you. I'm gonna pull it out for you. What I did is I just slow roll that rattle trap. There's a little bit of grass here. And just tip the grass just a little bit. I'm throwing the three quarter ounce rattle trap. And what I call it is, is a, it's the old uh, brown eye. It's a rattle trap that's uh, got a brown eye, but I think it's like MG68 is the number off of it. I'm just taking it, slow rolling it down until it hits the grass. And when it hits the grass, kind of stopping it and picking up on it. I got to tell you, that was one miserable day. My camera crew almost said that they would never come back and work for me again. We went to Harvey Creek that day. That's about 30 miles from the boat ramp. Torrential rain. When we got there, fortunately, we caught the one fish that they did catch on film. But our cameras got waterlogged. Our microphones got waterlogged. We had to go all the way back to the hotel room, take all the equipment apart, put numerous hair dryers on them to dry it out. Then we were able to get it working just before the weigh-in, where Bradley Stringer, who won our team championship, actually came in second place. We're going to see him a little bit later on in the show, but first, we're going to look at the biggest fish weighed in this year by our camera crews at the Skeeter Owners Tournament. This is an 11-pounder. Let's check it out. For a brand new Skeeter boat with a Yamaha outboard, looking for a 10 five, nine, wait, 11 point. Thank you. Man, reach right in there, hold that fish up. Eleven oh eight. Look at it. Walk up front here. Walk right up in front of the stage. Hold it up. Hold it up. Yeah, two hander. A two hander. <laughs> oh, really? All right. That is the largest bass you've ever caught. You're from the state of Kentucky. Yeah. 
Well, congratulations to Steve Renfro and Ray Portman. Not only did they win a brand new SX200 bass boat, but they also won the hourly big bass for that monster fish. Over $30,000 that day. <sighs> Love to see that happen every time. Coming up next, we've got Bradley Stringer's most exciting weigh-in. We've also got Brad Morris and Kevin Hatcher catching a monster bash, plus Brad Volland, who won our individual championship this year. You're going to want to see this. This guy caught over 14 pounds in 20 minutes in one spot. All that's coming up next on the Bass Champs Television Show. Oh, now I am feeling real good. Welcome back to the Skeeter Bass Champs Television Show. I'm John McCalma. We're recapping the best moments in 2004, and this one is a doozy. Before this weigh-in, Bradley Stringer's mother came out to me. She said, John, you want to roll your cameras on this because you're about to see the most exciting weigh-in ever in Bass Champs history. She wasn't lying to me. Bradley got up to the stage. He needed 28.30 to win the tournament. He knew he had close to that, but he wasn't sure. Let's check out the action. It's gonna be very, very close. I think 26. 20. Woo! 20. Woo! Man, that is clutch right there, my friend. You needed it. You needed 28.82. You had 29.20. Great job. Great job. <laughs> hey. I'll tell you what, I'm excited. I'm not gonna lie. Dad and I had an outstanding day. And it was on thanks to uh, Bill Norman Crankbaits and Stanley Jigs and uh, my two IG Extreme Ultra Strike Rods and uh, fine folks at Bass Medics put out the uh, same people that make Rejuvenate. And that's what kept these fish alive and bouncing all day. And we had an outstanding day. I, I can tell. Hold those fish up. Where's the partner? Well, it's always exciting to see a father-son team win a big event, especially the biggest team championship ever held in the United States, Bradley Stringer and his father, Donald Stringer. Congratulations, guys. And if you remember, we got to catch up with them on our Fishing with the Winner show, and they told us exactly how they caught all of those fish with deep diving crankbaits. Also on that show was the most exciting catch of the year. We got to catch up with Brad Morris and Kevin Hatcher, who won our North Team Division at Sam Raymond Reservoir. They were fishing a frog on lily pads and we caught this monster eight pound bass. Uh, we got a good look at the two that come off on us and we, we should, there oh, he is, that's that a mule, fish, that's a mule. Fish. Good lord, did you see that thing explode on it? I look at these guys hitting that troll motor and Woo! going right in there to get that fish as fast as they can. Oh lord! Holy! Oh, oh, they still here, baby! <laughs> look at that fish! That's all frog fishing right there. Golly! Now you'd love to have that in the well, tournament I wish on day I two, wouldn't you? Yeah. That, <laughs> that is a massive. Right there. How much do you think that thing weighs? Probably go about eight. Brad Ballin this year won our team championship, and we got to follow him on day two with the Skeeter Bass Champs television crew and document his win. Now, this is the most exciting footage that I think we've ever got an opportunity to film. Brad had a secret honey hole, still to this day will not tell me where it's at, where he caught an entire limited fish in under 20 minutes and then started culling and had a nice five pounder. And when he caught that fish, he knew he had won the tournament. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna show you all that footage, real time. We're gonna cut it up just a little bit because we don't have enough time to show you all 20 minutes. But this is the exact order in which he caught eight fish in under 40 minutes on the Bass Champs television show. It's a keeper. There's a nice fish. Uh, that's fish number one, and it's about 728. Uh, I'm just gonna sit here for a second, please. There's one other one. Well, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. That's about three pounder. Be bigger than that. And about 2.1. That's a good fish too. There's, there's one. Oh my gosh. That's our keeper. Oh.
2.2 Woo! There's one! Oh, he's blowing. Try to keep him down. Oh yeah! Fish number four. Looks like 2.1. So we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pounds. Two, three, four, five, six. Eleven point six pounds. Five fish right now. And it's 803. I mean, you dream of trying to get in place if there's a bunch of fish like this. Yes, and there's one. Oh, that's a good fish there. Oh yes, I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm gonna catch everything I can today and try to bump this weight up. But I was thinking maybe today going into this that that probably, I'm feeling pretty good right now because I'm thinking that's what it, uh, that's probably about the weight that I need to win this thing. But you never know. I mean, anybody out there, there's a bunch of good fishermen they can all catch a good stringer. But I'm feeling pretty good right now and I'm pretty confident I can catch some bigger fish. Okay, let's make another cast out here and see what happens. And there's another fish. Oh, God, he's a good, better fish. Man, he feels like Oh, yeah, there's the good one there. Yes, there's a kicker right there. Oh, now I am feeling real good. I tell you what, when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Brad Vollen had an incredible day. He said he found that spot actually utilizing satellite photography that he downloaded off of the internet. It's a great win, Brad, congratulations. And that was probably the most exciting footage that we've ever captured on the Skeeter Bass Champs Tournament Trail. Coming up next, the biggest and most memorable moment ever that we've ever filmed at any time. I don't know if you're gonna remember this or not, but it's the biggest fish ever lost on the Skeeter Bass Champs Television Show. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Skeeter Bass Champs Television Show. I'm John McCalmock, recapping with you the best moments of 2004 and beyond, because this next moment is probably the best moment ever captured on Bass Champs Television. Well, I can't say it's the best moment because it was really not the greatest moment for Scott Dean. I tell you, no matter where I go in the country, no matter where I'm at, everybody asks me about this one fish that was caught and lost by Scott Dean. So instead of telling you about it myself, well, I brought Scott Dean in. I'm gonna let him tell you about it. Hi, I'm Scott Dean, and, and yes, I'm the guy that lost that big fish. Gary Klein even approached me one time at a uh, meeting, and he said, you know, Scott, he said, I, I saw that I saw that film. He said, wow, that's a big fish you lost. He said, let me just give you one little bit of advice. He said, all you had to do, and I've heard that about a hundred times, I bet. Golly, I got something big on here. Good God, it's a bass. Golly. Oh, hang on, fish. Good night, have mercy. I had a friend call me and say, you know, the, this internet site there on the forum, there's a lot of talk about it. You ought to read it. It's pretty funny. The guy wrote in there that, uh, that uh, this is used as uh, a bedtime story for his little girl. He's got a little girl that was, I think, four or five years old. And there was something about this clip that she just giggled and laughed and had the best time watching it. So he'd just rewind it, watch it again, rewind it, and she'd be rolling around. He described how she'd be rolling around laughing and flopping around on the floor like a fish. And apparently that's what he did every night before she went to bed. Come here, fish. Come here, fish. Come here, fish. Oh, golly. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Alan Shelton and I had... Um, had decided we were going to go down and fish a nor uh, an East Division tournament. Chad, Jeff, and the rest of the support crew, the 
folks that helped them in the trailer were all going to go to the stump restaurant and eat. Conversation was just kind of going along. I was just waiting for my hamburger and uh, and I'm listening to these two guys talking and they're just talking to Jeff about Bass Champs and about the you know tournament. And they get to talking about the television show. This one guy just looks at him real funny and he says, you know, he goes, and I saw that that show where they, he said, when that guy lost that big old fish, he goes, who was that dumbass that lost that big fish? And Jeff just nearly rolled laughing and he just leaned over and he goes, it's that guy right there. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got in and I was, you know, talking to John McCallum, the host, and I said, um, I said, John, gosh, I, I'm really sorry about that. I said, you know, that would have been great if we could have got that big fish in and, you know, would look great. We could have waited in. He said, he said, Scott, he goes, you don't understand. He said, this is the best thing that, you, that could have happened. This is the best shot we could have had. He said, now, I know it sucks for you, but this is the best thing. And as it's turned out, it's been a pretty memorable moment for Bass Champs TV. Um, it's one I'd rather forget, but uh, it's, it's, it, I guess it worked out good for everybody. The Skeeter Bass Champs television show is brought to you by Skeeter Performance Fishing Boats, engineered like no other. Yamaha, legendary dependability, award-winning technology. Motor Guide, never stop. The digital advantage. Lowrance Electronics, we lead, we find, you win. Closed captioning provided by Daiwa, makers of the Fuego Reel, committed to total quality. Well, I know you think we probably forgot about this one, but we always like to save the best for last. Chad Potts lost this year's President's Fish Off to Vice President Jeff Welch. Jeff has the bragging rights for an entire year. You know he's going to like that. Congratulations, Jeff. Winner of the 2004 President's Fish Off, our last and final greatest moment of 2004. A little color change. Congratulations. Uh -uh. Four pounds. You never thought he'd done it. No. Four pounds I'm, wins the cup. I'm stunned, but uh, <laughs> man, it's going to be fun on Monday. <laughs> I...